the Kill Team pre-order came out today for Hive Storm, and it was uh, not as exciting as uh, it could have been, which is actually a good thing. Hi, my name's Robert. I'm with Society Case Files, and I want to talk about my impressions of the Hive Storm pre-order today. All right, I just finished doing my pre-order for Hive Storm, and I had a few thoughts. I was able to look around the site briefly while getting ready to buy, um, while I was um, deciding if I wanted to pick up any of the cards or any other of the um, kill teams at the same time. I kind of decided not to because most of those rebranded kill teams are going to be available uh, through Amazon and be a few dollars cheaper. $65 for the kill teams is probably not too bad, but considering that I'm looking at some of these uh, other boxes that were available where you get multiple kill teams, it's a little harder. I mean, sure, you're going to get some updated counters and stuff in the boxes, but for example, I'm looking here at Amazon right now, you could get Termination, which has the uh, Brood Brothers and the uh, Herntan Jaegers and the and some more terrain, a couple of uh, plasma generators and some out-of-date cards, uh, probably an out-of-date book, it looks like. And that is only $145 uh, on Amazon. So instead of just dropping $65 on one, and I think that the Brood Brothers are $70, you could actually get a better deal by getting a few extra things if you just grabbed this and then waited for those cards, which also were, I think, around $33. They might have been $35. Um, I did briefly. No, it was $33. And I decided not to get the orc ones. Uh, we have the orc uh, group painted and ready to go, but we'll just wait on those cards or see what else they're going to do. Um, this is obsolete now. No more of this core rule book. Um, I actually have two of them. I got this one in the starter set that I picked up. And uh, I had the original core book from some other thing we picked up. Uh, other than that, I was just kind of looking at the options here. And I do notice that, like, for example, if you were to have bought Nightmare, which I did, and you'd get the Mandrakes and the Nightblades in that set, uh, you probably did get a pretty good deal uh, buying that box instead of buying them on this pre-order for $65 each. Uh, the box set was 230 back then. If you were to buy them individually now, just the uh, units themselves would be $130. And then there's the terrain and, again, some <laughs> out-of-date cards and that sort of thing. Um, as far as the rebrands go, the boxes are kind of neat. It is nice that they changed them up, but, I mean, the models are exactly the same. And there's many ways to get the orcs. For example, the commandos came in the starter set and they're also available uh, separately. Uh, we actually have two sets of them because of that and two sets of the um, Imperial Guard. So um, I guess if you were already into Kill Team, some of those would be pointless and you'd only need the cards if you're desperate for those. I haven't looked yet to see if there's an app or if they're planning an app, but it'd be nice to get away from doing the cards and using a uh, something digital because it looked like there's quite a few, you know, all the different options for what they could be carrying and how they're using them. I would much rather just have them accessed through my phone. Um, other than that, I mean, the pre-order wasn't as exciting as I thought it would be. I was able to uh, go to the website about eight minutes early and start the countdown and then once the countdown was done, I was in and buying my products within, I don't know, probably a minute and a half. And what's funny about that is that when I bought my Nightmare pre-order, it was a lot more exciting because I got in um, to the queue and then the queue said it was going to take like an hour. And then fortunately, it dropped down significantly. I guess people just hopped in, bought the thing and left. But uh, that had been my first real experience with one that a lot of people wanted. And so I was convinced that I wasn't going to get my hands on it. After that, though, I became pretty confident that these pre-orders are not as crazy as I anticipated. And I was able to get whatever I've wanted since then. Um, that would be including uh, the 
Age of Sigmar big box set, the Skaven Tide and um, the Blood Angels box set. No problem with that kind of stuff. So I'm a little less intimidated by the whole process than I was. It's certainly not as bad as trying to get some stupid Apple device. Um, what is kind of sad is that despite the fact that I get them pre-ordered and get in early and all that stuff, it still seems to take them a lot longer to get the product to me. Uh, they do talk about how they've got the uh, updated, um, they've updated their shipping and all that stuff, and then they can get things within six days. And that has not been true once yet. Um, everything that I've pre-ordered comes out, tells me it's being shipped, and then it takes minimum of 10 days, sometimes more. Oftentimes, I'll go to our GW store here in town and uh, find that the box is just sitting there and that I could have waited and picked it up. Of course, part of this whole adventure is FOMO and being worried that maybe the box won't be there and maybe they just won't make enough. I mean, already some stuff that I bought is no longer up on the GW site. For example, the Army of Faith from the Sisters of Battle. I didn't see that on the Games Workshop store the other day. And uh, what's interesting about that is that I didn't pre-order that one. I did buy that one at the store. I happened to see it there, and I was like, okay, I'll just do it. And I grabbed it, which I guess is good because now, again, it's it's not even available to buy online, at least through them. Um, and... It's kind of twitchy because, honestly, a lot of these boxes are so much cheaper after they come out, whether it be through Amazon or eBay or wherever you buy things. And then, of course, there's some places on YouTube that when you go and watch their video for showcasing the new things that are coming out, they have the opportunity to uh, uh, sell you things at a discount. Uh, at a pre-order, whether it's 10% or whatever. Any percent off is nice, considering how expensive this stuff is. So um, I'm not as concerned about the pre-orders as I was, uh, mostly because I'm pretty darn sure that anything that is really of value or is needed is going to show up at the store eventually. And in some cases, if it doesn't, that's probably okay, too, because they'll re-release it. Uh, the Assassins. I really wanted those um, uh, four Assassin characters that came out right when I got into it uh, back in December, but they weren't really available, and I wasn't buying on eBay then, and now they've re-released them all, and they were fairly reasonably priced. So, anyway, that's sort of just my impression of the pre-order and the Kill Team stuff in general. Um what did you think of the pre-order experience? Did you get what you wanted? Uh, did you even try? Are you excited about the new rules? Are you looking forward to the rebranded models? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot for checking it out.